Hello everyone, welcome to the course on genetics. In this video today we will learn about deletion. This is first and most important type of chromosomal aberration or chromosomal aberration can be caused due to this deletion process. So let us start with deletion. So as we have seen in last video that the chromosomal aberrations can be resulted by four different types of phenomena. First is deletion, second is duplication, third is inversion and fourth is translocation. So in this video we will learn about the first that is deletion. So what is mean by deletion? This is very simplest and most common type of chromosomal aberration which results to breakage and loss of part of a chromosome. So a chromosome is devoid of a short segment. So in this process as name indicate a small segment of chromosome it get break and it will get lost and it will never come back so that that chromosome will become devoid of that short segment. So such loss of portion or segment of a chromosome with some genes is known as deletion means when very small segment or any segment or portion of a chromosome it will become lost then the process is known as deletion. So the chromosome with deletion can never revert to normal condition. So once any chromosome it lost any segment of it, it will never come back to its original position or the lost part it will never revert to a normal condition and that chromosome it will remain as it is from generation to generation means such deletion can pass on the on and transmitted to the next generation. Now when deficiency occurs in one of the homologous chromosomes the unpaired portion of the unaffected homologous form forms a loop while pairing. So here this is very important uh, statement when deficiency occur in one of the homologous chromosome the unpaired portion of the unaffected homolog forms a loop while pairing. So there are different types of deletion. Sometimes deletion may occur in both type both uh, homologous chromosomes but if sometimes the this type of deficiency or deletion it occurs at only one chromosome that is only one homologous chromosome then the another chromosome it will form loop during pairing. So here you can see this is normal chromosome it having the genes EFGH. Sometimes due to deletion the gene G it has been get lost from the chromosome. So what will happen here? So this is known as deficient chromosome. Now these two chromosomes are going to pair to each other but we know this normal chromosome it is longer one and this is smaller one because the small segment having the gene it was lost from this chromosome so it is the deficient chromosome. If this normal chromosome and deficient chromosomes they are trying to pair then what will happen here you can see. So this is deficient chromosome. Now one chromosome it is normal and long and another chromosome is deficient and short. Now during pairing this normal chromosome it will form loop and this loop is formed by the G segment of the normal chromosome and so that there will be proper pairing of these two chromosomes will be taking place. So this is very common process in the process, uh, deletion. There are different types of deletion. There uh, mainly there are two types intercarillary or it is also known as interstitial deletion and another is terminal deletion. So what are these different types we will discuss. As inter it will uh, gives an idea that when any chromosome it will lost its internal part then it is known as internal deletion. 
so in this type of deletion usually the lost chromosome segment is from internal part of chromosome so in this chromosome breaks in two three pieces and the middle piece will lost and remaining two pieces gets joined again so here what will happen the internal segment of any chromosome it get lost and during this process the chromosome will be break down into three pieces so the middle piece it will become lost or it will be uh, it will be missed and remaining two chromosome pieces they will reunite rejoin and this particular deletion it is known as intercalary or interstitial deletion now terminal deletion so what is this so the terminal deletion involves breakage of chromosome in two pieces the small piece usually get lost and remaining part serves as chromosome so here you can see a diagrammatic representation intercalary deletion this is very common uh, chromosome if it breaks down into three pieces a b and c now in intercalary the internal part means b chromosome segment it get deleted or it get lost now it will form a piece or uh, the two segment that is a and c they will reunite to form this type of chromosome so this is very uh, deficient chromosome and this type of inter uh, this type of deletion it is known as intercalary deletion why because the internal part of the chromosome it get lost now b will become separate and it will get lost and this particular deletion is known as intercalary deletion now in terminal deletion what happens a b c it is the gene sequence of original chromosome but due to some breakages chromosome will be divided into three segments now a b c or it will get a uh, breakdown and it will form three pieces now in this case what happens a and b again reunites to form this type of chromosome and c will get lost so c is terminal part so that it is getting lost it is known as terminal deletion so when internal part of chromosome is lost then it is called as internal deletion and when terminal that is end part of the chromosome it get deleted then it is called as terminal deletion now genetic effects of deletion so deletion may have some adverse effects on the phenotype of an organism so what are those uh, genetic effects we will discuss here first of all we will see deletion of a chromosome segment is responsible for the production of unique phenotype so in here this deletion it will cause some unique phenotypes to express because due to loss of that segment the genes which are present on that segment they will become lost and due to that intermediate phenotype will be expressed so most common example of this it is notch wing mutation in drosophila now next is deletion causes recessive alleles of the normal homologous chromosomes to behave like a dominant allele that is due to deletion the dominant allele get omitted hence recessive allele will express itself in absence of dominant allele so this phenomena is known as pseudo dominance so we can say deletion is useful for phenotypic expression of recessive allele so we know very well that from various lectures or videos previous videos we are very better known that if dominant allele is present in each gene it is dominant and it will only express itself and it will suppress the phenotypic expression of the recessive allele but due to this deletion process when 
the dominant allele get omitted or get deleted then in the absence of dominant allele the recessive allele will express itself so this process in genetic language it is known as pseudo dominance so this will be more clear from this diagram see here there are two chromosomes you can see homologous chromosome abc and abc on this part the dominant genes are present on here the recessive genes are present so this is abc normal heterozygote plant in presence of this capital a or dominant a this a that is recessive small a it will never express itself but somehow when this a that is capital a get deleted or omitted by the process of deletion here you can see only this homologous chromosome it contains b and c genes and here there will be no capital a allele present so when this capital a allele is absent this small a or recessive allele it will express itself so this particular process it is known as pseudo dominance means how can we define pseudo dominance when recessive allele will express itself in absence of dominant allele then it is known as pseudo dominance so this is very important phenomena we can see in the process of deletion so what is benefit of this pseudo dominance that when the capital allele is present or dominant allele is present the recessive allele will not become express or it will not express but when we found that recessive allele is economic for us and expression of recessive allele is economic or significant for us then they, this is very important for us genetically and during that process if you want to or uh, express this recessive allele you have to delete this dominant allele so that this is very important phenomena and you can use it for different types of experiments now third uh, type of example or third type of genetic effect you can see in human being so this is due to deletion human babies they missing a portion of short arm of chromosome 5 so when human babies that is they contain cytosomes and sex chromosomes we know very well there there are 22 pairs of cytosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes when this fifth cytosome chromosome it will miss a small portion or short arm of chromosome 5 it will have the effect on the human babies so human babies missing a portion of the short arm of chromosome 5 that is autosome have a distinctive cat like cry so this is the phenotypic expression of such type of missing portion of fifth autosomic chromosome hence the french name is cry do chat so this is known as cry do chat in french language so what is meaning of that cry of the cat so when any human baby gets or it will take birth with such type of missing portion of uh, fifth chromosome then he will have such type of phenotype that is cat like cry so that baby will cry like cat so this is known as cry do chat in french name and this syndrome it is most popularly known as cry do chat syndrome this syndrome was first of all described discovered by lejuin et al in 1963 such babies are mentally retarded and having iq below 20 they have malformation in larynx they have moon faces saddle noses small mandibles and small heads so these are some characteristic features of such babies having the cry do chat syndrome so this is also the example or this is also the uh, disorder which is uh, caused due to deletion of chromosome part now 
deficiencies and deletion have been used to locate the actual position of genes in chromosomes and to prepare their gene maps such maps are called as cytological maps so such maps have been produced by uh, of drosophila maize bacteriophage and other organisms so these deletion and deficiency they are very important for to locate the actual position of genes in the chromosome so how genes are arranged what is sequence of gene on a chromosome and for the preparation of gene maps of that chromosome this particular method of deletion it can be used so deletion though it is harmful in some cases it is used for the preparation of cytological maps or gene maps so such type of maps by using the process of deletion have been produced in drosophila maize bacteriophage and of different other organisms so this is all about deletion thanks for your attention